breaker, breaker, non breaker, breaker, one nine. What's up? Mic test. <laughs> What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Hello. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who's here. She's. I haven't been in one of these in a while. Yeah, returning. I'm, returning to. The I discussion. remember the days when Silver said I had to be a required presence. Oh yeah, because <laughs> like that was when everybody was starting to disappear, and I was like, "Yeah, Glam, you, you don't, you're not going anywhere." Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, returning presence, Glam, King, Shisui, and Hockey. Yeah, Hockey, you haven't been in one in a while either. So, welcome back. Welcome back, fuckers. Crew, the OG crew. <laughs> no mention of Anaki? Jesus. <laughs> Cuz Smash, you you've been in here. You've been in here recently. They haven't. I wasn't even in the last week. No, video. I, no he's been, Smash has been gone and I've been here. And unless oh, Smash, yeah, you yeah. switched those two. You switched those two up. I wasn't going to say. Wait, so anything. then wait, so then who the fuck have I been talking to the past couple weeks? Zed King Hockey. That's who you've been talking yeah, to. Yeah. King hasn't been that. here for a while. Has he? Well, then just Zed and Hockey. <laughs> no, I think you would notice that story. Oh. Oh well, fuck it. I don't care. But thank you, thank all y'all for being here. So now, so now I know this entire time, Silver's never like he never meant anything he said to me in these past few weeks. You know? <laughs> Haki, I love you. I love you, Haki. No, no, Haki, I love you. Oh, no, oh my God, no. No, oh, for fuck's sake, get off of it. <laughs> Chapter opens up. Law and Chopper studying, doctoring. I guess. Was this a request? Yeah, cover page request. Own prediction on rap. when these will end and we will get the next story. Chopper's doctor. Me, well, not mid that, like, <laughs> that, that's, that's four that's kids reference. No. Wait, what happened? Oh, Chopper's doctor. Chopper's doctor. Oh, <laughs> the four kids reference. But yeah, I feel, I feel like these the, the requests will end within like the next 10, 20 chapters. Maybe. I was going to say next five. Chapters. Also, After we're going to assume that five, if, we're gonna get the next... if they're doing a medical study, that law is leading this study right because no on punk hazard, no, he was no. no 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 because on punk hazard he was established as a superior doctor because he no he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't, he wasn't a superior doctor the only reason that law was given was came off that way is because he was able to remove the the virus specifically from those kids there's due to two, his devil fruit they in my opinion in my opinion they are equal in terms of their medical knowledge it's just that law is able to perform perform a lot better because of because of the way his devil fruit works chopper chopper's like a physician and he's your surgeon you know yeah. like but Ch you do know chopper can't perform surgery yeah of course they can there's he's saying what they I would say law so yeah law's a better surgeon and he's a better physician. He's also can we talk about how like base chopper should not actually be able to perform because he doesn't have the proper hands for it. <laughs> no, dude. I, no, 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 look at, no, word, word, look at, the, look at the cover page. Look at the cover page. He has hooves. How is he holding that pin? You guys don't understand the dexterity of uh, gear hooves, bro. The dexterity of gear hooves? How is he holding the pin? He doesn't have thumbs. He's got to recognize. What are we talking about? That, see, that's the real reason why Chopper doesn't have the power the rest of the spent all his life learning his hooves correctly like that's where his power level training's been mm -hmm. <laughs> like, he is a phantom thumb. highest dex in the series fucking phantom thumb bro <laughs> jesus christ Chop, Hockey, uh, first page we get that beautiful ass shot of the flower capital again why do we keep shooting back over to like this specific like this specific building is this orochi's main like main house or yeah, I think that's just a set piece. No, Ooh. it's, it's also, a house. Confirmed. something I want to emphasize is that each time we cut away, like we do these opening, like Wano Country, Flower Capital, actually zoom in closer to the cat. Yep. If you look back to the first time we got this shot, it was first. They oh, yeah. Further back. Mount Fujitora, it went all the way to the top of the panel. You say Mount Fujitora? Yeah, that's the. It looks like <laughs> Mount goodness. Fuji, but this is the One Piece world, so Mount Fujitora. Let me fucking kill myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that, that's just a small detail that I think, and I think the reason why we keep having this particular panel, like, uh, because it's the Kabuki thing, so it's kind of like the opening scene in a play, like, backdrop. oh, curtains drawn, backdrop, whenever, boom. Whenever we back talk in about the Fujitora, I always like to tell people, Mount Fuji's the place where you go to die. You know, so. <laughs> Mount Fuji's the place where you go to die. <laughs> Logan Paul. Uh, 
back in the flower capital we got people receiving news a goat the ghost appeared again are we all in agreement that that's brooke performing yes. his yeah no so. it's mm -hmm. uh the dude that scrooge talked to in uh the christmas story that i can't remember the name of oh yeah a, a Christmas Carol. That's Christmas one. Carol, there and there were three different ghosts. Well, no, I'm four. Talking about the first one. Not oh, ghost. the ghost of his oh, friend. Ghost. The ghost of his yeah. friend. Yeah. Okay. But aside from the whole Christmas Carol, which, by the way, happy uh, December first. Twenty-five days till Christmas. I love the holiday season. Bro Man. Oh fuck <laughs> you. Okay, King. I understand Wait, why you don't like it. Monica. I understand why you don't. I understand why you don't like it, King, because that it's no bliss, it's King's, blazing King's, hot where you are. King's birthday is pretty soon. That's true. My birthday is pretty soon. Oh, that's man. why he hates it because Christmas outshines his. Uh, yeah, well, I, I never I never celebrated my birthday or Christmas when I was a kid, so there we go. I'm two days away. I think we might need to go to Australia to celebrate King's birthday with him because that's actually that's low key that's depressing as hell. I, I told I you I you have his witness growing up. So. I don't celebrate. You didn't believe him? <laughs> that's funny. Wait, they have Australian Jehovah's Witnesses? I didn't think that one would have reached oh. over there. They're everywhere. They're cool. everywhere yeah. Have you ever? Have you Smash, not had them knocking on your door? That reaches every corner of humanity. Words like, like they're per the like they're persistent when knocking on your door. You don't think they're gonna be persistent when spreading their faith? But yeah, she sweet. She sweet. She sweet's right. She sweet's right. This is I might video Jehovah Witnesses. The Jehovah, the Jehovah discussion. Every I mean, the that's... the plan to the plan to recruit the samurai are in effect. <laughs> Wait, guys, what if what if Kamamatsu's a Jehovah's Witness? Jesus oh fucking goodness. Christ. They get in a fight and so he ends up killing people because they want to fight him over. Have you them. heard the word of our Lord and Savior Kozuki <laughs> Oda? Yo, yo, alright, chill the fuck out. <laughs> He's just being misunderstood. He's not a serial killer. Jesus Christ. Brooke, the plan to <laughs> no, recruit it's, the it's the plan God. to recruit the samurai has already started. Brooks, I don't know. I don't understand what Brooks' whole thing about recruiting samurai is for. Maybe he's playing into the legend of, you know, the curse of the Kozuki and like the time is coming around to when the prophecy is supposed to be fulfilled. Make Orochi more paranoid. Yeah, like this is the ghost, and that he's basically just to spread the rumor and like to reignite the rumor that yeah the Kozuki are coming around. Brooke is to reignite the the rumor that the Kozuki are coming back. He'll haunt you. But why do some of these people seem excited about this? Like these are normal citizens, and a lot Kozuki of them look like sympathizers, probably or yeah. wives or relations to Kozuki sympathizers. I think some of these people are, don't like the Shogun, and I think some of these people. But this, but this is in the have in, right? yeah yeah but this is the flower capital where where okay if you look at it like the Goa Kingdom this is the Goa Kingdom and outside well, of it is Great Terminal they you well, would imagine that these people don't care about what's going on outside of here because well, Silver as we see later on in the chapter that there's many 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 Kozuki people in the capital still. So. So. Oh yeah, but though, but you have to, but those are the people who reform to the new way of life. You really think? Well, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I think, th I think this is doing... like a huge place. Oh, like, Wano is huge. Oh yeah, this city should so, be about the size. That's of why Alabama. they. That's why every time we. That's why every time we cut over to a new area, they give the title card. The, the, like you this don't necessarily have to agree huge. with the current government to like be yeah. willing to rebel. Like I mean, like I mean, you know, and not I'm trying to say it, like. You mean like uh, to live there? Yeah, like you could live there, and then you still not agree, and then you're just like, when yeah, you like, the pants, look at the, like, oh, shit, okay. look at look at World War Two. A lot of a lot of Germany had to go from we are the supreme power to, okay, we lost. I gotta, I have to go back to the way I have to reform to the way these people live and think. But I guarantee, if the Nazi regime was to come back up, they'd be willing to. Well, even in the reverse too. Even yeah. Because the, the Nazis they took Germany too. Like they the other. Yeah. People, to that also and they're yeah just, like, fuck they just had to re they just had to reform to the way to like the new way of life but if if the if a rebellion was to was to come up even if they are living in the life of luxury they don't have to agree with the way they're living yeah 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 i understand that okay the hype shit that i wish i did a live reaction for we get the we get the reveal of so many different fuck it oh my god 
Okay, Kawamatsu is the one on that poster. Is he the same as the guy with the scythe? Yeah, right. Most likely, yes. Yeah. Ponytail, yeah. silhouette, you know. Uh, yo, Can we just talk so, about the Kenshin hype right now. So, <laughs> so many fucking samurai reveal. Oh, samurai ninja. Ooh. And I think he's the one of the dudes they're looking for. Yeah, so he's going under a different name, just like uh, Ashura Doji. Go back a couple chapters, you can see that one of them who we already knew is the guy in front of the castle when it was burning at the hat. The other one had a ponytail, and this is most likely him. And of course, Ashura Doji. So. Oda paying homage to. Ooh, excuse me. To his old sensei, the man who got him started, I cannot remember his name right now. Excuse me. Father of Kenshin. The author hero Watsuki. I am not going to try and pronounce that, but the author of Aroni Kenshin, Kawamazu, the Manslayer. But Tosai, move the fuck over. You ain't shit no more. <laughs> stop, stop. Whoa, whoa, let's not go stop. that far. Stop. <laughs> All right, first off, if y'all want to talk about great people in fucking in Kenshin, I think we all know Laura Aoshi is that dude. No, don't do that. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, no, 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 we are not. <laughs> Lord Aoshi, Sonosuke, and Sonosuke Sagara. Kenshin is badass, but those wait, two are my are my main two. <laughs> oh, we can do a Kenshin video another time. This is 920. This is not uh, 25. Which ones yeah. Jump Force Summers? Uh... Hey, fuck you. Fuck you, Glam. Uh, well, yeah, fuck you, Glam. <laughs> All right. Next page. We see some. We see a ninja. Well, the witching hour boy jumping across some rooftops. Ninja finally being revealed. And the way his, out, the way his silhouette looks, he is not wearing some stupid outfit like Shinobu that's just like a bunch of. Confirmed. He is a meme underneath the mask. I will be pissed if Honestly, he has a dumb design. Honestly, every ninja has been a meme so far, so I can't. I'll be like, pissed if he. Even him, but I... nah, he's a meme. But... No, I will. I I think that he might be like this happy-go-lucky, goofy guy. It, but in terms of design, I'm a mad like the way he looks. I'm imagining he's he has like those like those ninja pants that stop at the knees with wrappings around his legs and he has like the ninja sandals uh what do you call it? like a gi for a shirt and underneath it you know that shirt that naruto wears underneath his jacket like that little mesh i imagine he he's wearing something like that with with like a shorter version of those of these cloaks that that a lot of the samurai are wearing confirmed meme most likely and it looks like he's wearing a hat too. I know he's gonna be a goofy character, but still. No, design wise, he will be a meme. I'm hoping not. Oda, I said this before. Oda needs to show Kishimoto what ninjas look like. Not farmland ninjas, not realistic traditional ninjas. I'm talking about fantasy ninja. Do not give me another bullshit design like Shinobu. <sighs> And do not give me another bullshit, another another goofy design like Rizo. Like these, the outfits Rizo that they're was hype. What are you talking? Yeah, about? he's hype, but his design looks fucking ridiculous. Hype. No. Uh, Rizo, Rizo's design is ridiculous to me. The ninja, the ninja outfits, the ninja outfits that we've seen so far are a joke, and that's one so thing that I'm not. A, you, we need the ninjas to have more belts and be more edgy. Exactly. We need more edge. If you're if you're gonna just to bounce, no no no. I'm being dead. I'm being dead serious. The the levels of goofy that Oda has taken the ninja so far in order for them just to balance it out to get it back to zero. We need some massive edge just no, to I balance do, it out. I, I do agree with Silvers. I, I just agree. to I balance it out. I, I do want. A more we're turning, this shit, design ninja. we're turning this shit up to 11 and going as long as he doesn't look like Sasuke, after after no all right wait wait wait, wait, wait. king sasuke king all right look bad. look wait 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 wait, wait. sasuke's hair yeah. sasuke's yeah. hair <laughs> sasuke's hair no so, like sasuke's hair does not fit into nards into one piece at all no there there aren't enough puffs but sasuke's but sasuke's outfit <laughs> There aren't enough puffs. I've never heard of No, no, cause nah, look at look at a lot of the characters in One Piece. They don't have that yeah, jagged, yeah, know, like yeah. bird like yeah. spiky hair. They have yeah, yeah. like their their puffs. Like even on this page with the ninja, the dude that Usopp slipped a note on. Look at his hair. He has spike parts to it, but look, they're puffs. They're puffs in there. 
Curls! Can we talk about how smooth Usopp was? Like, Word! It's always been smooth. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. This is this is on another. This is on other levels. But King, back to Sasuke. His hair, no. His the outfits that he wore, uh, post time skip. I would be completely down with that because as much as oh, I, really? yeah, I actually like Sasuke's like his outfit designs, okay. except for like immediately post time skip. He looks. I was I was thinking more of a Killer Bay like outfit, but anyway, okay. B out that his outfit would fit in a one piece too. Like a lot of the outfit, a lot of the ninja outfits outside of the traditional village uniforms, I think they would fit in one piece very, very well. Okay, okay. God, I love a dead series. It's not dead though. It's not. Boruto's still going. And Naruto's son has a TV show. And tech and technically, Boruto is called Naruto Boruto Next Generation. But yeah, so, moving so, on. So a zombie series. So moving on, Usopp on his smoothness, walking through the streets with his eagle vision, spots this tattoo on this man's ankle. Usopp on some pervy shit, looking at a bunch of dudes' ankles. I'm not gonna judge. Everybody has their kinks. Giggity giggity. But he on giggity, some smoothness, really just walks past this dude and like just secret agent slips this note on him, like Usopp. All right, first off, this is a samurai. This is a trained warrior who is who is supposed to be aware of his surroundings at all times. Not trained enough, it seems. Usopp oh, is gosh. able to Usopp is able to slip a note on this man. I'll admit, like even as subtle as it is, this shit, like Usopp doing this, it was hype to me. A lot of oh, people. Oh, you were screaming, Silver. Oh yeah, because like that that's some smooth shit. Sleight of hand is a dope thing to have, like on your character. Yeah, especially like when, at, like we were sitting here reading it together. We see this dude, and I'm like, "Wait, is that Usopp?" And then next, and like two panels later, I'm like, "That is Usopp." And then the dude is just like, "Huh?" I thought he was gonna turn around. I thought he, I thought he picked this up the ground because Usopp accidentally dropped it, and he was like, "Oh man." They're bringing back the Kozuki. I need to find out where this shit is. But no, he was like, who gave this to me? Like, nigga. 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 That's some, that's some hype shit. I, I, wish everyone, I wish everyone was here to hear Silver's go off on that moment. That oh, was, my God. That, also, it was beautiful. Shachi and Penguin doing things. I'm excited. I was, was going to yes! say that Smash. I'm very the, happy the, they're doing okay. things. Here, here's why. Because I like was like reading some stuff and looking at that like back in Law, Shachi, Penguin, and Beppo have been niggas since they were like twelve. Bruh. Oh, shit, that's Beppo. Oh fuck, the... I didn't even realize. Oh yeah, yeah. I, 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 hold on, King. Hold on. We we'll we'll get to that. Okay, we will get to right. that. And, and Law is twenty six. Like Law, like they are the longest running crew. That's part of why, like when they... I say like Law is kind of like the white beard. He's been just rolling with these niggas since he was like twelve. They all have the they basically yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Law night light novel. These mo like Law saved all of their lives. Like Law literally performed surgery on Shachi and Penguin when they accidentally blew themselves up. That and another reason that I'm happy to see uh, Sachi, Penguin, and Beppo actually doing something is because I, even though it was anime only, when they were fighting the pacifista, they were martial artists. They're hardcore martial artists. They know how to fight, and their teamwork is mwah. I love Suck. it. I love also, it. the fact that Beppo has a gag bounty, I'm so excited for that. Oh, oh yes. Because the if, other thing, they were at the auction house, too, when the hockey went off by Rayleigh. They didn't and they, they were just sitting there with Law in their gangsta pose, like, who is this man? Like, ugh. Huh. <laughs> Tilt, Tilt's glasses looks over him. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> like, but yeah. Uh, oh, the heart pirates getting to do stuff. I love it. <laughs> if we don't, if if we don't get their bounties revealed in the next pack of beaver cards, wait, did did we do Sabodi already? Yes. Yeah. So I feel like we might get their bounties in either in an SBS because the mo the a new volume is coming out. We might get their bounties in an SBS or if it's revealed in the main series. I will be even happier, but we are. Hope, like, Wait, I'm we never Shashi got. Shashi and Penguin get some kind of fight where it's like this. We never got a title card for them, did we? Nope. I don't think we ever got a title card for Shachi Penguin. You know, I, in all honesty, I don't think we are going to get a title card because they have had like serious interactions at this point. We didn't get one for Gene Bar. I thought we're getting one for. Them. Yeah, we'll probably we'll probably get that when because I feel like Oda is holding off 
like certain viewer cards for like entire crews like like packs for the crew instead of just an arc like the heart pirate deck uh the kid pirate deck like stuff like that but next page we get usopp with the like with his smug yeah i just did that look fucking love usopp given the gut break he's renewing my faith in gunman even though it wasn't a gun feat usopp is still re like renewing my faith in the marksman we get Shachi Penguin at first in between them. I thought that was law because like when we was you noticed the fur chest, not even that, Stop. not even that I saw the fish on his kimono mm. and that's when I was like, okay, that, that has to be Beppo and plus his head's a lot bigger. I'm like, okay, he's fat. That's Beppo. I'm embarrassed. I never realized that. Oh, well. But we get we get the faces of more of more people of more of the fucking re rebels or samurai except for two of them, some like these two at the top next to Shachi Penguin Beppo and Usa. The top one, I feel like these are may or may not be important people, or is just showing or is just showing people getting these notes from a different perspective. But I feel like these might be might be like influential people. Especially, and the one below, is is that a woman? With the, the scar on the eye? No, not the scar on the eye. Above, oh, above okay. the scar on the eye, like feminine, a feminine actually... kimono, a feminine kimono with the flowers. But well, I'm not gonna say feminine because there we have seen people with flowers. But it it seems a little more feminine. Plus the long hair. I'm look. I'm like trying to compare the hand shapes right now. It. No, yeah, you might be right. That could, might be a woman. Could be. Dude at the top, he got the mutton chop sideburns, toothpick in his mouth. Might be fire. Who knows? I feel like he's going to be a short dude. Who is the... All these dudes will be background characters. Same but I like that. all their designs. Okay, okay. The yeah. one... Though, there's only two of them that I don't they think that be, won't be background thing, characters. Scarface... They're going to be... They're going to be background characters in the same way that the other commanders of the White Beard Pirates were. That's yeah, most likely. Oh, but like, yeah, they're gonna be wrong. background characters, but so we will see the. They, no, oh they, some, we'll they got some sauce to them, but they're not. But yeah, like, we'll see them. We'll see them do shit that make us go, "Oh shit, did you see that?" But not enough to go, "Yo, top tier." I want to yeah, scale yeah. them and put them on my list like right now. <laughs> yeah, which is okay. We don't need more characters. The only no, people no. that I do like. The only people that I do that I don't see as that I see getting more shine than the rest of them are Scarface, uh, Hood Demon Face guy, and like buzz cut mutton chops. With the amount of protagonists we already have set up in the series, I doubt any of these people that don't have any names. No, I'm not saying. They don't no, I'm not. Yet. No, I'm not saying that they're gonna get like serious panel time. I'm saying. Like Watch will like a panel each or something. Yeah, like a panel each, strong. like like um like when the forces gather, these are gonna be the guys who step up and introduce themselves and like just vow, okay, yeah, I'm here to fight for the Kozuki. My name is such and such. We're we're here to fight, and that's oh, yeah. basically and that's Don't basically it. Like the, and that's ba and that's it. And if we see and during like the big battle when we get wide shots of like sections of the armies and people fighting. These are gonna be the guys that are front and center, like that we're gonna focus on to. They'll be like the Coliseum and dress. For or uh, the other thing is like if they're like running through, like let's say Luffy, Kid, and Lo, the three of them are trying to make a beeline for Kaido, like how that like the, they'll be the ones that like pop up and do like. All right, all right, look, look, um, Marine Ford, Marine Ford, with like excluding the com well, yeah, the commanders, the commanders at Marine yeah. Ford, we knew Outside their names. Marco, Josu, Vista, like those guys, we didn't really know their names at first, but then we yeah. got it a little bit later. Yeah, like Fusa, like Fusa and all, of, like Fusa and all of them. We'll they'll have panel time. We'll see them do some hype shit that pique our interest, and we'll never get it. Like it's basically just the dick tease. Yeah, but yeah, that's exactly. why I said they're gonna be like that. Like guy in the bottom. Guy in the bottom right hand corner. Y'all remember that color page of Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, and Chopper, where they were in kimonos and some of them were wearing had swords, but like Chopper had this big ass gun. I could see this guy being a gunman. Oh my goodness. I could see oh him being God, just so be No, no, it's not even not even just because I want more gunmen. It's because he looks like that like a heavy type dude who doesn't who doesn't like in my opinion. 
he doesn't look like somebody who's going to be carrying. Chris Silvers never saw Ashura Doji with the sword. He said he would use a gun. No, Ashura Doji, he, he, uh, lo he looks like, all right, the trailer from Sekiro, there was a fat guy with a sword. I could see that. It's just, oh he's God. bigger. He's, he's slim enough that. That I fucking head cannon, man. bro. I could see. I definitely could see him using that, uh, like a big cannon or some shit. Uh, I would pick Ashura Doji because we're in a, because it's like Wano's like a throwback to ancient Japan. I wouldn't see him using like guns and stuff. What I would see him doing is being like a, a Vicento user, Ooh. or that's how like I would. That's what I would. Yeah, yeah, like a like a pole arm, arm, like a pole arm, something like that. Uh, next pan, next page. We get this young dude going, oh shit, the Kozuki are coming back, a rebellion. Fuck yeah, sign me up. I want to kill some people. But we get the reveal from this old man. Yeah, uh, Shogun's outlawed all weapons. Unless you're a samurai, you can't carry a sword. There's no training in dojos, no martial arts, no taijutsu, no genjutsu, no ninjutsu. Oh my goodness. And the old man even said, if this was a decade ago, I would, I definitely, I definitely join, but I'm too old. I'm too weak. I'm too old for this shit. I remember talking about this in the Braga server. Someone said that Wano is weaker as a country than it was years ago. That I think is true. I think, uh, I think, to a it, to a very minimal extent, they didn't lose their leader. They lost, they lost Gordon? the yeah. They lost their leader. They, they lost, lost a, the they lost a leader. They lost a leader. Cause remember, all Odin did was, was like. He brought together the assholes of the, the country. Of the, crew, like, you know, uh, the country as a whole is still strong. It was just, it Suba was just. Yaki probably didn't really do much after Odin started like getting involved with the policy. And the they lost Kimon and all of them. I understand those are the, those were the top people that the show. I would had. say that the country is not necessarily, not necessarily, because they remember defanged their population. Yeah. Like, no, nah, because look, yeah, the yeah, that's why I would say it was weaker. Exactly like that's that. why I say it w it's weaker. It because o losing Odin, all losing Odin just caused the thugs to go back to being thugs. Like that's real. That's really it. The military might is still strong because remember, Odin wasn't the Shogun. His his father was, but we don't know when his father stepped down and when Orochi took over. Because we don't know if the day Odin died is when. Orochi took is when Orochi took over and like did he kill Odin and Odin's father or was Orochi already the Shogun and Kaido came in and you know made it they made a deal and they took out Orochi Wait, my honest to God that. speculation would be that they killed his father what's his name became the Shogun and then they got to go after Odin because otherwise why would he even have the power to like brand Odin a criminal yeah that's where that's where my stance on it is mostly based on like the logical order of operations necessary for the story to occur the way that it is uh, depending on how the the shogun see or the sh yeah the shogun see is passed on whether it's a vote by popular opinion and odin was an asshole but he still had he still had like the popular demand like the popular vote or if it's like trial by like it or if it's uh like by combat and odin and Odin's dad lost and but how, however whichever way it happened I do agree with you I think uh Orochi had to take over and become the Shogun first and then he branded and then he branded him a criminal and now we get to the part of the chapter that is cool but also frustrating <laughs> uh hold on called if you got time, moment if you've got time come and look sit down relax and listen closely Usopp is still peddling his shit. He is still peddling wanna... his toad oil. And then we get more mother... And then we get... Low-key, I think he... The reason he has a sword with him right there is because he is low-key selling people swords that buy his other shit. That have, like, Kozuki... Oh, who? Oh, who, uh... Usopp? Usopp? Yeah, it's not just his sword. He's not a samurai. Yo! He didn't have a sword. How does he have one? Okay, Usopp... They said that everybody who who's in Wano before Luffy's group, they were already, like, they already had jobs and was already doing shit. I I kind of agree with you. Selling the toad oil is just a front. Front. If yeah. he sees people yeah. with the with Usopp's the moon, using his greatest strength, which is his ability to lie. 
Like that would be <laughs> so awesome. Look, it's oh like it's like it's like Usopp is selling the toad oil. If he spots somebody with that crescent moon tattoo, he'll push them about buying the toad oil. And if they still go, There's okay. Side deal. If you buy three for one toad oils, you get this sword that. I no, have. not even, not even, not even that. Not even the, not even like just selling them swords. He'll push them about it, and he'll low key just inform them, "I'm with the Kozuki." Where like shit's about to happen. He'll give them the toad oil, but like say on the label or something, it's a symbol that only they would recognize. Yeah, like okay, here's what I like. Yeah, so what could be kind of cool is is if like behind the label is like the little card so he's like trust me you specifically want this and he like puts it in their hand and they can feel something's off and then that's like when they check later and they're like oh shit it's about to go down and like, yeah like if like all right look i got a t in my hand fuck i'm not streaming hey, who cares all right like usab's going okay hey like buy this toad oil you sir sir with the pompadour and the spirit sword here take the take just take this t no i don't want it here sir I'll tell you what, take one, take one, it's on the house. You'll enjoy it. If you don't like it, come back to me. And like the fucking leaf on here, they they go, you know what, okay, just to get you out of my fucking hair. They grab this shit and look at it and the like the more they pay attention to the label, they see a symbol and go, oh shit, they look back and Usopp's already gone. I mean, that's like how it's been structured that like it damn near looks like they do it. So... Bro, I'm with it. Yeah, like Usopp, Usopp. I'm starting to like Usopp again. <laughs> Usopp, he wasn't my worst. He wasn't my least favorite, but he wasn't. He definitely wasn't in my like top three. It was, yeah. it was Zoro, Luffy, and Brook, in no particular order for the last two. But Usopp, he he definitely knocking on the door again. But we get to the black market under the, the underside of Wano. These people, what are they? What are they selling them? What are they uh, shipping out? Weapons, weapon yeah, weapons shipments. Uh, give me a second. Uh, was that Christian oh who came my in gosh, here? Glam. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, glam. Yeah, glam. Facts. You need to you need to chill the fuck out. Let's take had his to, ass to Dragon Ball. He'll fit in more over there. Fucking earlier. Uh, what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, they're discussing the weapon shipments, but little did they know, up in the rafters, Shinobu is teaching Nami espionage, which, in my opinion, I feel like that actually works for Nami, not because, oh, she needs to be, like, acrobatic and, like, ninja s. it's because that Mirage tempo, like, imagine, she's a thief, she's a thief, Nami having, like, not ninja techniques per se, where, like, she throws down a, a puff of smoke and just disappears but i'm just saying in terms of like if we were to, if we were to do more intel gathering nami could work with this instead of just being invisible standing somewhere because people have observation hockey if they're just if you're standing in front of them invisible and they like they're they're going to they're gonna notice but if you're like these ninja and wano you have to imagine they found they know a way to circumvent hockey well, not circumvent it or like just avoid it, but make it make it so their presence is a little less noticeable. But Nami, but even even with that, dude, man, he still notices them. Like, what the fuck? Well, that's this is this is part of why this frustrates me, right? Is that like we were, we're Shinobu is a trash ninja. Apparently, she's a. Uh... She's a like, lot better. She's a lot better than that comes from being trained by a samurai instead of a ninja. Because remember, she said she was trained by King. Like, that says a, that says a lot, right? If she like, had been trained by, say, Rizo, well, like yeah, her her kite thing at the end. All right, it's like yeah, you can do techniques correctly. I don't think it's so like, much. I don't think it's so much the teacher because Kinemon. We talked about it. Uh, what was it last week? Kinemon yeah, is. Like, Kinemon is is a fucking animal. He's a monster. It's just she she prefers stealth rather than up front, close. Like yeah, she, she doesn't prefer combat at all. Yeah, because how are you a ninja and you have fe and you have a fear of sharp objects? You you live in yeah. a you live in a country where sharp objects is like at the forefront. But Silver's being attractive older woman is a weapon in of it, into of itself. Jesus so Christ. <laughs> I know. 
But the uh, like her whole shtick is like frustrating to me. Yeah, Shinobu. I'm. I can't. I don't think I can't take the gag characters anymore. I don't think I'm. I don't because we've been getting too many of them. Oh, uh, that, and Oda, I mean, that and Oda doesn't write enough good women characters where he can keep throwing gag female characters at us. Either. Like, draw us, like, get us some good women first. He's running out of gags. Like, he can't have them all. Because, like, give me a reason why Shinobu couldn't have also just been a badass ninja. She could have looked the exact same, had a whack design, but been, like, competent. And she has, she has a, she has a devil fruit. She has a devil fruit that does I mean, something she similar to from, uh, Kaido, so, yeah, yeah, she, she yeah, she, she has utility and she may, she may be a monster at hand to hand. It's just a fucking gag moment. Let's move on. Oh, uh, yeah, please do. And Nami, Nami being smart about it. I'm a cat, meow meow. Even though he saw the telescope that you were looking through, meow meow yeah, meow. But like the, the the meow was because they couldn't see them on the roof. They were. Yeah, and they they, they know, couldn't confirm it. Screamed. <laughs> and then Shinobu pulls out some ninja techniques, ninja art, giant glider. Oda already making use of ninja tools way better than Kishimoto ever did. Ooh, Just sh oh, sh shots oh, fired. You gotta. We'll discuss that later. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because in all honesty, the only ninja tools that Kishimoto ever really, ever really utilized. Hold on. That's the, the pizza, is the pizza there? Nah, something went oh. wrong with my fucking... Eh, get to it later. I'll cut that part out. Because <laughs> the only tools that Kishimoto ever really utilized were the shuriken and the smoke bombs. Like he used... paper tags. <laughs> bombs, bombs, sharp objects, and wire. When... Well, I get, and he used like disguises that he used the disguises too, but well, yeah, but that was only for like gags and shit in the beginning. I'm I'm not talking about disguises as in like I transform into this person, like I, I'm disguised as this person because they had a ninjutsu for that. I'm talking about like they're holding up, holding up like sheets of paper that help them blend in with like a wall or some shit. Oh yeah, that shit, that shit was great though. Yeah, they that used that as like a gag, especially with young Konohamaru. But once you, it feel like once you learn, once you learn ninjutsu, you no longer need need tools because you basically have, you basically have, like magic. Or you know, she could have just taken the cloth out, threw her a bag, and they just skipped the unpacking it. Wait what? Huh. Wait what? You talking about Shinobu? Ninjutsu does not exist in this world. Yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying Shinobu used ninjutsu. I'm saying. Oda's already using ninja tools better than the way Kishimoto okay, did. Right. Kishimoto used ninjutsu in and repl to replace ninja tools. Then we get the ultimate Sanji feet. Sanji, oh, we're there for Sanji. Oh, we're I'm here ready. on Sangora. Oh, Sangora. I like how she. I like how Shisui was quiet this whole time. Shisui was quiet this whole time. She so, was quiet yeah, this whole the time. The jutsu on all the thoughts in the country. <laughs> I got that sweet al dente that will I've melt been in your waiting mouth. For this. Nah, but in all honesty, in all honesty, I wasn't really paying attention to that line, but it is going all the way up this fucking street. Also, it looks like we're seeing the back of the line. Yeah, that's the back of the line. It's going all so the way up that street, bro. Let's go, dude. <laughs> and people keep saying Sanji taking L's. Sanji, pre time skip. He's Sanji, all... Sanji has been getting no love from females. Post time skip, almost damn near every arc he's been in, he has been getting love, like massive like love. massive love. Viola <laughs> wants it. Pudding wants, wants it. it. Every oh, woman in this in this wrong. whole district wants it. <laughs> even on Zo, even on Zo, the the mink women there, the minks, they love him. They fucking love uh, him. They want to guard game. you all over him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> The Iron thing about Chef this is, Sanji. Yes. Iron, this this is so useful also because by just Loki, they don't even need to scout for Kozuki. Really, they just need to have Sanji open a stall and just look at people that get in line. 
make the rival chefs come over and be like, nah, bitch, you can't step nah, to you me can't. right now. Word, if we we're, get we're, a we're Sanji, a if we get a Shoko Geki, bro, if we get a Shoko Geki, Sanji is going up again. Like, he's going up. Absolutely. Especially Absolutely. if especially if they do it, if Oda does it correctly, it's going to... Shoko Geki, I like it needs to be like the filler in Logtown when he yes blue battle against Carl. Yes, because like, yes, because like you that look at this, hype. there's a person like you see him like everybody's like oh I love this. It's like that whips Manapper. Does he know who's Island? But that, like he's staring at that him person. Over the food. <laughs> that person could either be a rival chef, like either somebody who's who's on who's like. Who's on the Kozuki side, but doesn't know Sanji is working with them. He's like, he like he's just openly doing this. Does he not know Kaido and them will fuck him up for for doing for being who you are? My whole thing with this is like some rival cook is gonna come over and be like, hey, this is my turf. Get the fuck out. Sanji's gonna be like, nah, I'm better than right. you. And they have a food battle, and right. then when this other guy inevitably loses, they fight for real. He shows that he's actually strong, and then Sanji gets his first fight in one. Yeah, shows what he can I feel do. Like, Eleven out of ten. I feel like please, that was. <laughs> and please, Oda, make it more than one chapter. Make I, it two. I feel like that was the problem yeah, with whole much. cake with oh, whole cake oil. island. I blow load. I feel like that was the issue with whole cake <laughs> island. When you, when they were uh. When Sanji was baking the cake, that was the issue with whole cake island. There was no there was there was urgency to baking the cake, but I feel like. There was no urgency to baking the cake, if that make if that makes sense. Like while it's he was because... while he was baking the cake, there was nothing there was nothing stopping him. They were they were saying, oh, there's somebody outside who could stop us. That never came into play until the cake was done, and they just had to transport it. But the there is an issue with the cake baking being that it was helping the enemy. Like, cool. Yeah. That was not well. It, 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 people need to it, understand we he said the he, he said he would is, never cook for somebody that would be so despicable he would never do that for people that uh, outside of his crew like he said it already you know so yeah, that was that was an issue this is that won't be a case now don't get me wrong like now it, that's not a part well, of he's it. also said that he'll cook for anybody who's hungry so. Yes, but there was there's a specific context given in this matter with whole cake island I also think issue. I think cooking for Big Mom, you also have to forget it is... Well, cooking for Big Mom isn't the same as cooking irrelevant. for his, like, Let, judge. Wait, 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 wait. Because you gotta remember also that while it may have, like, Sanji's, like, focus, like, on panel seemed to be Big Mom, her rampage probably killed hundreds of people. It really did. Yeah. Not yes. feeding Big Mom is killing the citizens of Top Man. That did nothing, nothing wrong. nothing to do with the Clash. But still, though, it's like... She's, uh, dude, she would be gone. I, I feel like, don't get me wrong, he should have let her die. Like, but our, he said she, she should have let her die. This is, this is our pragmatic, like, if we were pirates, like, if we were a pirate crew and we were in One Piece, and let's just say any of us was the chef in our, all of us are letting Big Mom die there. Yeah, like, I think, I think any of us, like, if one of us was like, well, we should cook her, like, every single, like, one of us in the crew would have been like, hockey chops to the back of the neck, throws in the, like, fucking brig, leaves. Let her destroy her own country. Fuck her. <laughs> like, this but, is yeah, but the people need to realize that sticking to Sanji's character was the important part of this, not yeah. what the fans. No, but and Sanji's, and Sanji's, Sanji's said always been a. Have done that, and, like, Sanji's always yeah, been practically no, moral, but like. The question you need to ask yourself, and this is in Hulk, uh, nothing to do with Wano anyway, but still. Does Sanji himself consider Big Mom despicable? Yes. This is the question you. Yes. Not in terms, not in terms of food. What has she done to Sanji to make him she think hurt that? pudding? She hey, hold on, hold on. Keep the conversation going. My, I think my food's outside. Threatening to kill his his crew. She took him from his crew. Hello. Okay. She kept him in a locked yeah, position. Um, where, like he felt like he couldn't go anywhere. Like she. And the reason she did that she was because his slave. family got into a political marriage with her. So you don't think he blames it on them instead? Well, can blame both. No, both. Bodies. You can blame both. Well, yeah, yeah. Here's That's the thing. Exclusive. They're you all have to remember. Yeah. Up. He's I don't think. Mom. You got to remember also that some of the stuff we saw, only we saw. Sanji did not see. Like that scene where, first off, they added. I think they added a little to it in the anime, but I appreciate it. Where like Big Mom is slapping the shit out of Shifun for looking like Lola. Like if Sanji knew that, he would be like, "You're a despicable piece of shit," and he probably would have let her start. But, but remember, Sanji doesn't see that. Reju. She she was gonna hit Reju. 
Yeah, but rage like that's a combat scenario. That's not the same as being a piece of shit. Like you don't you don't like uh, like if you're fighting if someone, someone was gonna hit my sister, I think they were a piece of shit. Pudding. But that but is your sister in the middle of a fight with him? Okay, I know what you're trying to say. I know what you're trying to say, but I do feel like Sanji there was a theme where he he deemed the big mom pirates despicable. Like yeah. like he would not cook for them. He's like, I'm not cooking for you. Think of it this way, Sanji saved hundreds of thousands of women by I feeding know. Big Mom. I see that I see that, but here's my issue with that when you guys are saying this is that Sanji never specified that that's his reasoning for it at all. Yeah, I, mean, I know. It like, was, Oda like, should have clarified. Also, you're giving you're kind of like you're helping Oda, you know. That's either yeah. you wanting to take the context into account cuz you also have to consider Big Mom yeah. killed. There's certain points where after we were never going to hit the fire, though. like the like the fire hair shit, and she kept chasing the straw hats. She would have kept chasing them if the cake hadn't been come. That's the problem. So he was also yeah. inadvertently saving his own friends that matter more to him more than anything else in the world by making. They would have gotten. They were getting away. They, they weren't they gonna were, get away. They were so getting away. That's well. Then hockey. That's making you making an assumption. No, because they, were, of the they people... were proving it. They really were. Like, and it's not with impossible burned to... up sails here's, that no, would have stopped thing, working. They could have thrown any anything out there. It didn't even have to be the cake. It could have been anything that they used to lure Big Mom away. That and they would have still got away. Maybe she wouldn't have been faster. I highly doubt. Well, I highly doubt it had, it had that, to be considering... something that it would take her a while to eat. So it would have yeah. to still be something kind of big. No, no matter what happens, she needs something huge. That but will make her it. go to the opposite end of the country. Even in the Lala state that she was in, right? She was still using her powers, and they were still trying to kill the straw hat. The whole time, they were still being attacked. Well, yeah, but, like, Big Mom being away from them for even a brief moment is still massively improvement. Because, like, like, imagine if, like, she doesn't zip away for the cake, and instead she just stays on the boat trying to smash it repeatedly, hopping back on looking for the cake. Yeah. The sunny yeah. goes down, and then the it's rest of done. them eventually die. No, like, because not, we saw them handle themselves. And the thing is, Big Mom was there at the end. Like, and but Jimbei and the fishermen were able to handle Big Mom and her crew. Well, we're talking but about when she's. We're just saying that them they don't make it to that there. part if the cake yeah, isn't there. They to don't make it. Oh, even that. No, but we saw that Big Mom did jump on the sunny. She did. Literally... You realize she would have done yeah. the thing with Prometheus of making him gigantic and burning up their sails before they even probably got she there. She right? didn't. She was unable to. Like, what are you talking about? She was but, the big Prometheus is too slow. Okay, that was already proven to us. And when Big Mom jumps on the ship, they get her off it. After, so but which she got right back up and went right back to pursuing after the vagabond. Which don't get me wrong, great, great, great moment. But like, there's a lot of there's a lot of question as to whether or not the cake is a controversial thing. I'll acknowledge that. I think there is some credence to not liking the situation but i also think it's important to note that realistically big mom could have destroyed their ship which strands every straw hat but jinbei so we, we can argue how much like how big mom was handled as a character but like from yeah. my from my stance and what oda showed me like that i don't believe he wrote it the best thing like it's possible oh yeah no he, he did not write it well at all it's possible that making a cake is a correct decision. You know, it's entirely possible, but my stance will still be that I don't think Oda wrote it correctly. I and I'll agree with you on that. I don't think Oda wrote it well at all to showcase that the cake matters. Like, like you guys could me, be right. Like the I, best I, way I, to show that the cake would have mattered would have been if it they would have actually like smoothly escaped after that. All right, like, I'm back. Fuck the, and I'm fuck back. the the hype for ooh like like if they would have gotten the cake gotten luffy at around the same time like if like that would have been hype but the fact that they had to go back for luffy also like messed up part of the timing for the so mind we shoot over to the prisoner minds where we see the a reenactment like it changes over from the picturesque capital over to this dingy shitty ass mine in where... fucking boonies in wano but we so get it really demonstrates like the dichotomy of the entire like uh, country as a whole, where there there's like this gigantic split between the poor and the rich, and how Orochi treats his citizens just as a whole. Yeah, but we get like um, 
What the fuck was I about to say? We get a reenactment of the Prince of Egypt. These mother, they're forcing them to work to the bone. Old men, young men. I don't think there are any children here. I hope not. Kaido's men are assholes. They really are. Kaido's men are assholes, which if they they're talk that like they're talking down to these motherfuckers like they are top tiers, which you don't have a name. Your design is generic as hell. You're stronger than a normal person because, like, I guarantee these this no name dude who just smacked this old man he probably no diff everybody in this D, in this VC because I don't think any of us can even beat a uh, fucking a military soldier a trained military I, soldier. I would bob and weave and get that guy, man. Yeah. And then you and then you get a a fist through your chest. Let's be honest. Nah, lane for white betas. Come on, let's fuck get that <laughs> I've technically beat a military person before. Let's all recognize that we all are the <laughs> For This nah. is not the Red Force podcast. You are not going to be spouting nonsense. You are not going to be spouting nonsense. Marine, you know, so they don't all have to be honest, looking back on it, Johnny and Yoshi but look, are but look, kind of... Look, hockey, low rank Marines are still the equivalent. Like, a normal Marine soldier is still the equivalent of a military train, like a trained military personnel in our world. We are Do not. Do you think you'd live getting punched by Luffy? Hell no. Because a lot of fodder lived through that. That's well, what it comes down to. Different. Do you think you'd live after Luffy punched you? <laughs> I would live. I would live, but I'd be talking li- I, I <laughs> that, 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 the rest of my life. And I'd need facial reconstruction. That's no, not that's, even. That's, then you go to side but who? Track. But who cares? Sidetrack. Bottom panel. Luffy and Kid are wearing sea stone oh, cuffs. Nice oh. Luffy and Kid are wearing sea stone cuffs, lifting. She's only here for the hype moment. Exactly. I'm here for the good parts of the chapter. What do you the mean? hype moments. <laughs> the fuck. These mother. The rest of the chapter too. You fucking. Oh, fuck okay. The rest of the chapter. This is the best. My opinion on sea stone. <laughs> the initial, the initial like touching of sea stone zaps you of your energy, but the longer you have it on, the more you'll adjust to it and. You're not, I'm not saying you'll become like, okay, I'm I'm ready to take on an admiral. Nah, he's stronger. But yeah. he but he's able. But you're oh you're not goodness. building up. You're not building up a a complete tolerance to sea stone because yeah. I don't with if you have a Del fruit, I don't think that you can absolutely like build a tolerance to sea stone or the ocean. It's uh, when uh, it's when they put it on you, you're completely zapped, so and then you'll get up, and then that. eventually you'll get up and be able to move around. Yeah. Games. No, you gotta recall cool. in Marine Ford, Marco was running around fighting dudes with Sea Stone Prison. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's just once you get to a high enough yeah. level, like yeah, you, yeah, discussing you, this once you get on enough level, you will games. be like, oh fuck, this sucks. But like, you bounce back. Like, I think, yeah, I think you, can, you, get, you can you like, can get higher, up and higher. you can get up and move around. You just still can't you still can't use your Devil Fruit though. Yeah, exactly. it, it, it's yes. like a, it, it's like a blood rush almost. Like you get up and you're like whoa, and then like you get your shit together. Like that's what I think Sea Stone becomes to the high tiers. But still, no devil fruit usage, probably. Yeah, no it's, devil fruit. No devil fruit usage. Usage. Yeah, like once you put it, like once you put it on, you're zapped and you're falling out completely. I don't care who you are, but once, wow. like once you have, but once you have it, it Marco, but once Marco. you have it, but once you have it on, because as soon as he got cuffed, he got shot through the chit, like the back. Yeah, but he was still up and yeah, about. Yeah, and then yeah, and then he got up, and then he got up. I'm saying when you put it on, you get zapped. But depending on how high tier you are, you're gonna like you're gonna be able to bounce back quicker. But Luffy, Luffy and Kid are moving through this prison like they are the fucking gods. They are motherfuckers are complaining. Motherfuckers are complaining about how much how much work they're doing to the they're point. They're doing too well. <laughs> Word, especially to be in prison. And a lot, even the guards are going, eh, these are monsters. Hey, you should chew with your mouth. You shouldn't chew with, like, a full mouth. I got to make friends with these motherfuckers before they end up making me their bitch. Dead ass. Like, like they're supposed to be heavily, like, also, I used to think that the whole, like, the, the, the fat Luffy thing was partially, like, a gag based Part on of his devil, devil fruit. fruit. Yeah, like, because that made, because then I was like, oh, there's an in-story reason. It makes sense. Like, whatever. But nah. kids' power is magnetism, so... <laughs> They're just same and Keegan, bro. What are you talking about? Bro, bro, this... I'm telling you, this... Magnetic con- fat. People, people go against it. People lose their shit when 
when I say this or when uh, some people say it, Kid is on is on par with Luffy. Granted, before we had no context to it, but except for the fact that Oda said that before the supernovas were even a thing, the only character he made had was Kid. But outside of that, there was no context to it. This chapter, in my opinion, proves that Kid is on par with Luffy, stamina wise and with his and his willpower. He's 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 not he's not close to he's not above. They are neck and neck. As Call far as right now, he's gonna look this way until he actually gets into combat. Call him. Say it again. Luffy's still gonna be Luffy's still gonna be portrayed higher up than he is. I still feel like in actual combat. Well, only only by like a only by a little bit. Because he's the main like, character. Like he's main people character. People need to cool their jets. I'm saying they're equal. They're equal. No, they're one hundred percent not gonna be equal. I'm not saying equal they're. I'm not saying they're. I'm not saying they're, they're, not saying they're, they're right. equal yeah. in terms of combat because we haven't seen anything from Kid that would suggest that. Yeah. The only thing that we've seen that would make him equal is pre time skip, where he matched Luffy's gear third. Gear three. Yeah. Unless Kid has like some whack gear four level state. Yeah. I highly yeah. doubt he's competing with. Luffy. When it, like if, a, whatever it is, like, whatever like that is, whatever really good without a gear, whatever if no, kid does, I'm saying if kid, yeah, if kid if if kid has a gear level. four level transformation, it's not him transforming the way Luffy is. It's him. Yeah, no, we're not, we're it's not him saying, pulling. Saying, it's him pulling together scraps or whatever, and he's wearing armor. Yeah, like, whatever, it's probably stronger in the new world, considering the islands have better magnetism. Okay. I want him to do some shit like where he uses the iron in his blood to like become extra strong or some shit. And so it's like, I, I, wait, ha, wait a second. Haka, you're trying to say that like he's going to pull like islands towards him or something? Is that what you're saying? Oh, dude, well, at the end of the day, I, I, I think he will have like island like feats and shit, but I don't mm -hmm. necessarily... I'm I, telling I, you, I alchemy. He's probably stronger right now. Like, I think he's yeah, being in the new world. He's, he, he's just saying oh, that... Oh, you're saying he's getting a boost because of the magnetism on the island. Is that what you're trying yes. to say? Or... Yeah, like that's what he's saying. Right. Island he's in, yes. Yeah. Alright. Uh, what the fuck was we... Oh, yeah. He's got... These guards oh, yeah, bad mouthing. Can me, but I, I can understand that. Because... These guards are bad mouthing Kid and Luffy, saying you're doing too much work. You're eating all my food, and both of these motherfuckers not having it. They just looking like you. We're prisoners. You want us to do work, but now you're complaining. Now we're doing too much work. Make up your fucking mind. We get we get the uh, the reappearance Yo, of we get the reappearance of the who the fuck cares caribou. Huh? Wait, we're skipping some shit, aren't we? What? Caribou's great. Fuck you. I didn't skip anything, King. Well, so the, we get the, the hippo showing up like. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dobon. And disappointing Cardo's crew continues to be really Also, shit. another card hey, game. Smiles are given in his... devil fruits. What do you expect? You know? <laughs> They're trash. I, this is I keep telling people I think that Kaido's crew is actually weaker than Big Mom's overall crew. But Kaido is probably overall stronger. Kaido, I think that's has, part of why Kaido has numbers. So much. They're both they both have massive crews, but I think Kaido just has more numbers than Big Mom. Whereas Big Mom's is more what? quant is more quality. Yeah, I, I think, think Big Mom has a higher really? quality crew. No, I, I think, think it's quality really. and quantity. Because as far as I'm concerned, the people the, the people that have been beating like have been you know these these Delta users they've been been taken out by like like the top, top tier teams. dudes. Yeah, yeah so but I, I, I still don't think. About? No, they're like, so uh, trash. Okay, but well, here's the thing. Guy. The hippo's <laughs> trash because he's fought against the two top, like strongest people there. Like, With Sea Stone on, Dillinger, like they're still nerfed. He's losing. You think? Yeah, yeah no, no, no. People at Whole Cake Island. No, 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 I'm looking at it. No, no, I'm looking at it. They are beating. They did just beat the shit out of this dude while wearing Sea Stone. Really, only like ten people. Like, here's the thing. I don't like with I, the, the I look at Daifuku. I look at Oven, and, and I don't see Oven or Daifuku getting one shot by a, a Red Hawk the same way that Holden well, well, can do. probably on scrap Oven with like their Mont Dora level dudes. Like, like I, I don't. See, I don't even think. Yeah. I think Mont Dora is a lot. Right. I think Mont Dora is a lot stronger than that. Yes. He is yes. a lot stronger than that. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't see any of the like uh, the ministers we. Like, the way that Holden was. Like, a lot of the headliners seem weaker than the ministry. You just cut out, like, you completely yeah, you cut out. Like, I don't know. Like, the jacket jacket guy, when he's all put together, that's like a fucking smile user. Like, yeah, but that's oh. fucking shit. The jacket jacket user in the smile user would go, that'd be extreme. That's an extreme. Okay, okay look, here's, here's, my here's my question about, here's my question about Kelly Funk. Like, side, like, sidebar. <laughs> my question about Kelly Funk. If he gets put on a, a Logia user, they can't use their Logia abilities, right? Because he's covering Who the their fuck knows. he's covering their whole body. 
Oda didn't think Kelly Funk through, and that's why we'll never see Kelly Funk. Good, fuck that bitch. Wasn't he one of what? Didn't he betray Luffy? Like telling him, "Yo, you gotta come this way, like through here." Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah all yeah. that matters is that that dude's fruit was trash, and honestly, I hope we never see him just because. <laughs> okay, here's the thing, right? Um, I agree with that sentiment. His fruit is trash, and but so the only, way for him to, the only way for him to be relevant is to amp someone, right? So the only way for him to, like, any fight that he's involved in, in the story, is just, oh, this person has a temporary amp because Kelly Funk's here, and... and it, no, like, no, he doesn't yeah, amp anybody. Just, yeah. Somebody amps yeah, he him. He gives boxing skills. No, he gives boxing skills. If you put him on a top tier, he, there, that top tier is not getting any kind of buff. I thought the jacket jacket fruit buffed the person who wore the jacket. No, no he's Kelly. he's getting oh my the God, buff. That's even worse. He just steals people's. Like, yeah, he's basically a body snatcher. But back on the chapter, we get we we see Caribou again. Does anybody think that he said anything? No, I think he did. I think he, did. I, I think he was just a fuck. Like, oh fuck, it's Luffy. I feel like this fuck. confront <laughs> yeah. that too because we see the <laughs> dot dot dot. Do I we, think. Do we think that Caribou might help Luffy escape or is? He's pro he he'll probably he'll probably work with him he'll work with them get to get out. Shit out of him he's the new first, he's, gonna <laughs> some shit, he's gonna say some shit he's gonna say some shit that pisses I mean, people that wrong. pisses them off and they're gonna beat yeah. his ass. He's gonna walk up okay. to Luffy. Oh, you you thought she was so strong cuz you beat me. Now look, we're in the same place. Luffy's gonna Luffy's gonna put him in his place. And Luffy is hockey without that shit, so. I think all right, for me, I if if he did, if he did say something, if he did say something about Shirahoshi, but it's not, it's not being like moved on. I feel like that confirms my my whole thing that Drake and Law are working together. They found out, like he found out. Ooh. Caribou told Drake, "I know mm -hmm. who the ancient weapon is. Let me go, and I'll tell you." He oh told him, goodness. he told him, but because, and he mentioned Luffy. And because Drake knows that Law and Luffy are in an, are in the alliance, and Drake's working with Law, he he didn't he didn't tell anybody else. Is this just feeding into Law betraying the crew, Silvers? No, Law is not, and he's not betraying the crew. He's not. It's a big. It's just a big. Conspiracy I'm not the. To I'm not the one who believes that. That's fucking Usopp thoughts. Yeah, that's trash. Yeah, no, like everything we've seen from Law, I would. Break they're him friends. off as betraying the crew. Like, yeah, they're yeah, exactly. like I said, like you actually the first panels you get to see where he even like sort of smiles all involve him being with the straw hat. Yeah. Which and, isn't to say that he obviously obviously because we talked about Shachi Hachi and like the Shachi Penguin stuff and like he obviously can have fun, but the point is, is that he can have fun with the straw hats now. We had never seen Law have fun on panels. Sanji will make him like bread. People for the first read time. too much into the statements. Like whenever someone says like a specific thing, they're like, "Oh, now this is guaranteed. It has to happen." Story that he's done. Isn't that it's you? Like, <laughs> another another thing that we hey, hey, no, that not. we getting dick teased oh, about. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Another Whoa. thing that we're getting Story dick teased <laughs> about is whoever is in that other prison cell. I this Looking this another thing that another it's some other dude. Uh, this, nobody, uh, I'm, I'm calling it right now. Nobody knows who the fuck this dude is, and it might not even be the lurking legend. Everybody thinks it's, it's not. It could be just it's some. Not, yeah, it's probably not. He's probably just some strong dude. Random or one of the three. Yeah, yeah he's he's strong. Yeah, yeah, I he's pro he's he's, he's most likely like a strong dude. But I feel I like, but him, him him observing good. him observing Luffy and Kid doing all of this shit. I feel like reinforces the the idea that he's gonna help them get out of like they're mm. they're getting they're getting out of here together. I can oh, agree yeah. with that. Oh yeah, that guy's up in the cave. Yeah, hippo hippo dude is bad mouthing kid and Luffy. Luffy's pissed because he sees him fucking with hey, this don't old sleep man. Sleep on the hippos, bro. Most dangerous animal on the planet. Fuck you, Glam. Hippos are actually dangerous. That's a waste of the hippo. That's a waste of the hippo. Hippos are actually scared. You, but hockey, but hockey, nice. hockey, you gotta remember, it's a smile fruit. So the hippo fruit is still out there, not a waste. Oh my goodness, not oh, a waste. Do you think we're gonna get a hippo zone? I don't, think, we're we're I don't think we'll get a hippo so. zone, but I hippos are actually fucking monstrous. I would love I to see. Well, that's what I'm saying. Hockey's right. It's like a waste. Why can't Oda put an actual hippo zone? Yeah. Like if he does that, ah. like, like if to actually like, because people sleep on hippos. I would love to just see a hippo. Fucking destroying people in One Piece. Um, that's what, there's a possibility that there's some yeah. of the scariest animals in existence. But, 
there, there might be a possibility that, that with, without um without like cut the you know the people that receive the these new devil fruits, there might be people that are just you know that he has on his crew that are zones completely. I hope so. And like I hope so. yeah, yeah, like they look might at be Jack. The guys that are like yeah. So, we need uh, some zones wait, for their for their straw that. hat members and all this. Yeah, let's I, I hope so. I'm on Monday. The war, the actual. actual. Because at this point, like, Festival. I'm pretty sure Usopp is bodying any headliner, other than oh. Super- bodying, bodying, no, bodying, no yes, but I do. No dipping. No. All these. No. He's, oh, he's winning. No. Usopp is win. No. Usopp is winning, wait, wait. but bodying, I don't think so. Pan. He's winning. He's winning. Mid diff, low diff, if anything, low diff. But that's it's me. But that's diff. me. But that's me only, the only reason it would be a mid diff fight is because Usopp would underestimate himself before the fight starts. Yeah. No, that even even if even if he went into the fight, in my opinion, even if he went into the fight like with a with a clear I head, know. ready to fight, I don't think I still don't think Usopp is bodying any of Gene these people. Ongo yeah, he's not bodying shit. Those guys. I don't know what right. you guys are saying. Chopper's gonna body hold them easy. Bro. Blue Gilly's the, beating uh, them. The uh, oh, a lot of the community. Hockey, chill out. Ha- the a lot of the community is saying that Luffy and Kid are staying in this prison willingly to train. I am not of that mindset. I don't think that they're there. They would there. never put themselves in that position. They are not staying there willingly. I think that they can break out, but I don't think that they're there willingly. I don't think that they're staying there because they're like, okay, I need to train. It's because they're looking at the bigger picture. If we get out of here and we start fucking shit up, Kaido and like his top people, they're not just going to let that shit. They're not just going to sleep on that. They're not just going to let us back in where we were. Yeah. Yeah, Like everything. I I think that they can't meaning they can't make a full escape yet. Yeah. Until you can make a full escape. What's the point? But they're but at the the same time. Also know that this the the hippo guy is called the deputy deputy warden and there is a dude above him in uh, rank. Yeah. We don't, we don't know if it's king or queen or one king, of them. Because they're both torturers, apparently. Yeah. But it could be another headliner that's superior to this guy. Also, well. I'm really glad that the translations that had the vice warden uh, marked as a headliner are gone. Because uh, there was a lot of vice, it, a lot of it was vice warden, parentheses, headliner. And then On, that just would have continued the gag of headliners being. What I'm looking at, what I'm looking at, it still says he's a headliner. Deputy warden, headliner, Dovan. Mm, see, I don't like that translation. Again, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait for the official translation. Yeah, I, I want the biz for this because I don't want him to be a headline. Yeah. Uh, Luffy, Luffy and Kid eaten eaten alive. Even though they're not here willingly, even though that they even though they know that they can't that they can't uh just up and leave without consequences, they still ain't taking shit. They still ain't taking shit. Like absolutely none. Head- I, I kind of want to see if they can use hockey at this point while in this form. Probably. And see if they just like got in there and just beat his ass because they were like using hockey, like hardened the fish, smacked the shit out of him, called it a day. Both conquerors uses both conquerors hockey uses. Just saying. Yeah, I decided that that food thing is a, a a symptom of being a conquerors hockey user now. That like, if you have conquerors hockey, you overeat all the time. Think about it. Every time we see Shanks outside of like at Marineford and like those combat scenarios, max it. Whitebeard doesn't. They absolutely beat the but shit out sickly, of Doba. So... They absolutely beat the shit out of Doba. <laughs> you can't eat because he's sickly. Yeah, and... actually, like when a lot, a lot of people when they get really sick, like end up losing appetite. So, yeah. like, it, it could have like fucked up his ability to like literally eat. He did drink a lot though. So... He did. He's a massive go. alcoholic. Uh, that sickness probably wasn't even a real sickness. It was probably just alcohol poisoning. It was cirrhosis of the liver. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> like a failed kidney or some shit. But they I didn't beat... have enough time to fit in your next line is. That's why I just said it, King. They, they absolutely <laughs> just beat the shit out of Doban and... Yo, let's do it. What's going on, Sauce? Nah, they absolutely beat the shit out of Doban. And as y'all kept saying before, that is their uh, badasses don't look at the explosion moment. Yeah. Oh yes, hype. Yeah. It's a shine. End of the chapter, badasses don't watch the explosion. And that joke is small. Yeah. End of the chapter. Thoughts, speculations, predict. Wait, uh, predictions for next chapter. I don't do those. <laughs> once again, confirming what. Ha- once again, confirming what Glam said. 
only here for the badass stuff, for the hype yes. moments. No, dude, I'm not a theorist. It's not theory. Uh, it's just it's just ideas. speculation on. on the next nope. chapter. I can only nope. review what I think. Of Most likely, we're probably gonna get some Frankie spotlight. Maybe some carrot and like. Uh, I, I think maybe some carrot stuff. Maybe some chopper stuff. Um, Luffy and Kid will be another point. Will definitely be a point in it. But other than that, I can't really yeah. say. I, I think don't think. I 100% do not think we're getting any Zoro or Sanji. I think we may cut away from, cut yeah. away from Luffy and Kid from the. If we do, if we do get Luffy and Kid, that's the entire chapter. I think they're going to focus on them for the whole that's chapter. That's what I was going to say. I think it's going to help focus. But on if it cuts, a, but if it cuts we, away, I do agree with you, Glenn, that we're like not going to. Yeah, it's going to be Frankie, Robin. We may get more, more stuff on like Usopp and all of them. Next time, this Jinbei going to show up. Whoa, whoa! I mean, the hype would be real if that happened. Though. Did you guys uh, notice? As a batted fish. Yeah, that's Thomas the the train. <laughs> Did you guys notice that weird smiling face on like that dude with a really weird face design? Yeah, that's, that's Tom, okay. Thomas the train. Thomas the train. Why? Like, why is Thomas the train? What the, the hell? Face? I'm I'm really just I'm really just noticing that too. <laughs> he has like a perfectly Boy, round face. He has like a perfectly round face and all. Time has not been conned onto him. It's like the smile, the like all of, like one of the weirdest designs Oda's ever done. I'm kind of, like, I, 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 that's a character that I, like that design I would actually like to see because that's better than like the average background character's design. Oh, so you talking about weird designs when this guy literally was a hippo's jawbone? Like, no, no, the hippo grew out of his legs. Like, I just realized this is the first person with a smile that like spawned a whole animal that barely has any like actual attachment to it. He's like standing in this thing's basic pretty yeah, much like, every he, day. His his lap is the is the lower jawbone of the hippo. How does he take a shit? It, it comes, out, comes, the, it comes out the hippo's ass. It's like some human stuff. Okay, it comes out the it comes out the hippo's ass, but who eats? Yeah. Does the hippo eat or does he eat? Both. 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 Okay, so now imagine that That's hell. That's why he's a big eater. Now imagine, stuff imagine the hell that is being inside that hippo's mouth while it's eating. His in this dude's intestine yeah, runs all the way through the hippo hippo's lower mouth into his actual yeah. body. Like bro, that's look, how the way he look, the way he eats is he gets two plates. Actually, to be honest, he, he, yes, he gets two like plates. He eats one hippos. plate with utensils, and with the other plate he just grabs the chunk of it and throw it behind his shoulder. That's what. That's how he eats. Like also, I would never eat a smile one? fruit. I don't give a fuck yeah, with no. the. I don't give a fuck like, what the chances of me of it coming out are. If I just got mm -hmm. horns coming out of my arms like sheep's head, or if I got a wolf coming out my dick, I am not eating a smile. I'm not eating a smile fruit. I'd rather take my chances looking for an actual devil fruit. I'd yeah. rather just get better with hockey and martial arts. Yeah, like, straight up. Frag, anyway. No, I'm saying if I had the choice of hey, you can eat this smile fruit. We know exactly which one it is. But we Dude, don't know how it'll said, affect like, you. God, or you can eat the you can eat this devil fruit, this normal devil fruit. It's a zone, but we don't know which one it is. Man, you know, like, though, man, I, look, I would eat a smile fruit. I would eat a smile fruit if it made my left hand into an octopus tentacle. And I just slap the fuck out of people with it. This guy. Do you want just one tentacle though? Three hours later. So moving on to the moving on to the moving on to the, moving like. on to the Viver cards. <laughs> Viver cards. Multi-purpose, my guy. Viver cards. <laughs> Arthur didn't put it up on the site, but hold on, what the hell is it? Oh, Arthur yeah. didn't put it on uh, Library of O'Hara yet, but he did. I don't think he got the like actual pack pack. He's just going by what he, he had. He got all the all the cards that were leaked, and he didn't get any of the additional details. So. Yeah, but uh. We Let's got about the best part. We got confirmation that Jimbe is officially on the crew. So everybody who was saying Jimbe's not officially on the crew yet, he's not on the crew yet. Wait, wait, wait. Let me say something. Fuck you, FBI. So, so to all the doubters who didn't believe he was actually on the crew, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> for once, I mean, man. For once, I think man. Sauce. Here thought that. Yeah, no, I'm. Too, we're talking to the people outside of this discussion. We're talking to people, the people who are who are really like Jimbe's not on the crew yet. He's not on the crew. Shut the fuck up. 
There were probably like five guys. You know that. No, no there was a lot of people. Oh, I've been, as much Jim Bay defending I do, I've encountered multiple. All right, like, I can't even count on my hands. But all right, I want to talk about this, and I know uh, some of y'all don't really give a fuck. With Ace's card, we got, we knew he had Conqueror's hockey. We had the confirmation of Armament hockey. But on no this, odds. on this leaked card, with the information that we have, there's no mention of Armament or Observation, even though we know he has Armament. Disappointing. We can move on. Uh, Oda, Oda might be saying, "Fuck that light novel." <laughs> nah, nah, because the story, because you do know that those are that's the stuff that you're from the Brago server. Shut, shut the fuck up. He, no, if he's from the Brago server, he should love Ace. No, Brago loves no. Ace. Brago loves Ace. But what, what, what does that got to do with me? Bra y'all, you, you, y'all creditless. Just throwing that out there. No, we're not credit. Oh, he's credit. Okay, you want to you want to know you want to know how you want to know how you want to know how I know you credit You want to know how I know you credit Cause you associate with hockey. No, oh, I don't. Shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Let me say this. Let me. Say this. But out of all of these division commanders, the only one like outside of like Fusa, because I don't know why I find him interesting. Maybe it's the flame sword. We get the confirmation that like a hundred percent confirmation. Izo is actually from Wano. When Whitebeard got grabbed Odin, he wasn't the only one. He was not the only one from Wano that, oh, yeah, that, that is Whitebeard a good point, grabbed. That he must have picked up that dude back when he was younger mm -hmm. and grabbed him. Oh, I share from... Brooke's birthday. There we go. Nice, Saki. That's my favorite Noice. character. And yeah, there's no uh, on Crunchyroll and Verb, the new One Piece. And we also get a car for Laboon. Nothing on here matters ex except the fact that he's 53. I mean that does make sense. He was a baby when Brooke dis when Brooke left and he was uh he was around and Brooke was on that ship for something crazy like 50 years plus the time skip. You got yeah. So he was probably like a year when he met Brooke and them. But uh favorite food giant squid laboon versus uh Sir Laboon hype. Laboon versus uh what was the what was the Sirmay? Yeah, nah, Sirmay. They're boys. They're boys. They ain't even meet each other. Oh, Crocus! Fucking Crocus! Fucking Crocus! Confirmed observation hockey. No bounty, no bounty shown, but he does have one. No armament, but confirmed observation. Bruh, Eric and Christian, y'all need to rescale Crocus. Rescale him. Y'all said in order for in order to be in a higher tier, needs to have hockey. Needs to needs to. There's okay. There's no way Crocus wasn't at least decent because he was a little Pirate King, the, Pirate King, King crew, Pirate King's like, crew. If like, you're a character who's portrayal. worth talking about, and you were on a crew that was worth talking about, and you, you're old in One Piece, you were automatically a badass. And he was a fighter. He wasn't afraid of Shiki. He was like, "Let's word." <laughs> he he had harpoons and shit. Every like Buggy was going, "Yo, uh, tell him he can't fight. He's sick." He was like, "Eh, nah, let's do it." Let's do it. Come on, I'm I'm with it. But Crocus said, "You want it? You want smoke?" I'll more comp, <laughs> more straw hat confirmations. Vivi, apparently, even though she is number like five point five or six point five, her official number is number thirteen. Not former including member. Luffy, former member, but her official number is thirteen. Not counting Luffy because from an outside perspective, there are well, Luffy's one. Yeah, no, from an outside perspective, there are, right now, there are 10 straw hats. Right now. Wait, hold on. Luffy. How many of them not including Luffy? Uh, Zoro, not including Luffy. Nine. Nine. It, it okay. Okay. Nine. Yeah, so outside of Luffy, not counting Luffy. Well, from an outside perspective, there are 10 straw hats. But when Luffy says, I want at least 10 people, he is not counting his fucking Luffy. self. Yeah, that's true. That he was, wants you know, to find 10. Well, so, I mean, so yeah, Oro Jackson. At so, least one more. So, Oro Jackson, get your shit together. Stop counting Luffy when you bring up Luffy said he wants 10 people. Oh, but this cover page says Luffy's number one. Yes, from our perspective, from the Marine perspective, from anybody other side from Luffy, there are 10 members. There are 10 members. But when Luffy says, I want to find 10 people, he's not counting himself. That's fucking dumb. If I say I want a baseball team with like 25 dudes, I'm not gonna count myself because I'm I'm putting together the roster. Shut like stop. Oddly enough, Karu Kadu 
is not not a member of not a member of the crew. And I don't know if Vivi's leaving Kara, so I don't know if she's coming back. No, like, Vivi, I, I feel, Vivi, I feel like I she her, would, she would. I feel like she'd leave Karu like behind. Like, Karu is an extension of herself. Yeah. yeah. Like, 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 Karu is, yeah. is familiar. That's yeah. how, that is, that saying, is a perfect analogy. That. that is a perfect Red, analogy. But either way, Brandon, her big consistency. Her why is Sanji laying down next to the rest of the crew after the Kuma and Zoro when he was nowhere near them? The Ursa shock. Yeah. It... No, 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 no. Like, because if you remember, Sanji gets up, walks Zoro up to knocked him out. Yeah. No, he's talking about before that. Before that. Before that. Have, like that uh, conversation is had away from. I don't know. It's it's because man, the Earth is stuck. The flunkiest little feeble body around right now. Here, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just show you what I mean. All right. Yeah, um, but until we get more, until we get point, like the official translations for the we Viva get cards from our more Strive members, considering Vivi's thirteen. Vivi's thirteen. Yeah, two more people that are confirmed. So I hope it's carrot then. Well, okay, wait. We don't know if they're counting Luffy in, in this, but most likely no, we Luffy are. Is yeah, one Luffy is number ten. one. Yeah, for us, Luffy is number one. Luffy well, is saying, one. So Luffy said he wanted ten. He's getting eleven. Yeah, he's yeah. So two more Straw Hats confirmed. Well, semi confirmed maybe. One depending of them on has to be savvy in combat to fight the Blackbeard Pirates because they have all so, eleven total so combat. I'm yeah, not on the carrot hype, but until we get what? more official translations from, until we get the actual official translations from Arthur. I don't Arthur, know if I've ever asked Silvers that question of why he doesn't want the carrot to join. That's a conversation for another day, but nah. when Arthur get when Arthur gets the when Arthur gets the official the actual card cards and we get the official Ooh. translations, we could go over these again. He ain't got no until reason. until then, uh, I guess y'all. I guess that's the end of it. We lost a lot of people over the course of this discussion, so see ya.